the students against covid campaign uh, is one that uh, was engineered f- uh, to enable students as uh, stakeholders in the country to be able to contribute to alleviating the status quo or fighting covid 19. we noticed that as a pandemic it's not just affecting the world but it's affecting uh, our continents and then particularly our countries and our homes in so many people so uh, this idea was conceived immediately after the directives that were passed by the president most specifically the directive that was for effect that public transport should be banned and the fact that uh, markets should only deal in foodstuffs uh, the minute that directive was passed, the next day we had people being pushed out of markets, people selling other items that are not foodstuffs. Yeah, we had uh, people not working anymore in public transport. And that caused a lot of people to suffer because women were being caned. Even those who are selling foodstuffs, uh, ironically. But uh, it got it got me to imagine a situation of a mother who has been abandoned by her husband because maybe the husband is a taxi driver and now he doesn't work anymore and so he feels like he's useless so he runs away from home and leaves a woman with six kids and she has no one to take care of them because perhaps society has told her that women stay at home they don't work but also think about a woman who has children she has been selling mivumba in the market by mivumba i mean second hand clothes in the market and and here comes a situation where government now says you cannot sell these anymore and personally i understand that the government had to do this in order to curb and prevent more infections but as a person who is human as a woman as well as a person who knows that it's important that we are in position to spread the love of God in our hearts to everybody. I wanted to make sure that I could also play a part and complement the government's work. Because, yeah, the government is doing a good job. I mean, being in position to have people stay home and not spread the virus is important because we risk extinction of the world if we just decide to keep interacting physically. So... Yeah, that is when I hatched the idea and talked to a few stu- students and so uh, it through. We started the campaign and right now we have more than 200 students on board who are willing to to, to uh, spread the message across social media. We even actually hope to make a thousand because we have a lot of inclusion for everybody. Uh, people are coming on board. People are donating money because this money should be in position to feed or to buy food for these women that I'm talking about. I also thought about these street kids who are not being thought of because, hey, now no one is working. Who's even going to give them money on the streets? Yeah. Maybe they were doing uh, some hard work in the markets, but now they don't do it anymore because foodstuffs are sold at that very spot of the food. I thought about them and and, and I could not help but think that it's important they are also fed. Yeah, then I also had this long-term perspective of it that if we could just engage and interact with these street kids and be in position to talk to them about their lives, find out if they're interested in education, link them or hook them up with organizations that can help sponsor them in education and make them better and more responsible citizens, that really made sense to me. Yeah. Mm, yeah i thought about all that i thought about the fact that as the student community even though people may see us as young people too young we have a voice that is more sound when we unite we have an effect that is more sound when we decide to do things in 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 cohesion and not not in disintegration that is why this platform and campaign has all university students from all parts of the country we even have some in the diaspora who are willing to add their voice to ours they are also donating money it's it's very heartwarming to know that the the students who people think don't have money are actually donating even the few pennies they have to make sure that somebody is given a smile 
yes those who don't have money are volunteering they want to do this they want to do that they are spreading the message online and for me that is what it means to be the change that you want to see in your community so i invite everyone to join us in this campaign be a part of it so that we can cause the change that we want to see through us and spread the love of god spread the love of god to people because it's nothing if we just hold it on the inside of us let us explode in love let us preach faith let's preach positivity let's preach not pessimism but optimism yes